chapter 1, Israel suffering in Egypt. Now these are the names of the children of Israel who came from Egypt. Each man and his household came with Jacob, Reuben, Simeon, Levi, and Judah, Issachar, Zebulun, and Benjamin, Dan, Naphtali, Gad, and Asher. All those who were descendants of Jacob were 70, were 70 persons, for, Je for Joseph was in Egypt already. And Joseph died, all his brothers, and all that, all that generation. Chapter 2, Moses is born. And a man of the house of Levi went and took his wife, a daughter of Levi. So the woman conceived and bore a son. And when she saw that he was beautiful, he was a beautiful child, she hid him three months. But when she could no longer hide him, she took an ark of bull brushes for him, dubbed it and asphalt and pitch and put the child in it and laid it in the reeds by the river banks and his sister stood afar off to know what would happen to him and the daughter of pharaoh came down to bath at the river and their maidens walked along the riverside and when she saw that the ark among the reeds she went she sent her maid to get it and when she opened it she saw the child and behold the baby was swept so she had compassion on him and said this is the one of Hebrews children then the sister said to Pharaoh's daughter shall I go and call a nurse for you from the Hebrew women Hallelujah. shall I go and call a nurse for you from the Hebrew woman Hallelujah. so the, the, the my, my basic emphasis is for you to know that whenever you are in going through trials and tribulation, do not despair. Because God always has a solution for you. Amen. Even your enemy can be the one that will rescue you from the mouth of that lion. Amen. Your own enemy can rescue you from the mouth of the lion. Imagine, Pharaoh had given an order that anyone that gives birth to a little boy must be thrown to the river Nile. But the same daughter of Pharaoh, when he looked at Moses, he had compassion for him and said, no, this one must live. Hallelujah. The miracle about the birth of Moses is that Amaiva Moses for three months. But the most amazing thing is that the angel Gabriel is always available to bring word and destiny about your life. Hallelujah. You come, when you continue to read the story, you find out there was Moses' sister. But when you are reading this chapter as it begins, it says a certain man and a certain woman from the tribe of Levi got married. They got married. Verse 1, just read verse 1 of chapter 2. And a man of the house of Levi went and took as wife a daughter of Levi. Mm -hmm. Then what happened? So the woman, so the woman conceived and bore a son. And when she, she saw that he was a beautiful child, she hid him for three months. Thank you very much. So according to this text, Moses was the firstborn. Where is the sister coming from? Hallelujah. Amen. Where is the sister now coming from? Are we together? So the sister, as the Bible explains it, was an angel sent by God. When the mother gave up the child to the water, the angel of the Lord took over to intercede because Moses was a friend of God. He was not supposed to die. Hallelujah. You find out the Bible is now talking about a sister going to negotiate about this one. To return this one to the mother. Hallelujah. 
Moses makato negotiator zukanzi. Ngirozi ya itaura ne mwana wa faro. Ekati this one, let me go back and give this one to the mother to nurse him for you. And you will pay the mother to look after this one for you. Hallelujah. God does amazing things when it comes to you because you are a special one for him. Hallelujah. And when you continue to read that little chapter, if you really sit down and ask God for intervention to understand what God was doing, you'll find out that Moses, instead of being killed, I cut those or one in one hour. I stop by the river. Marry every month. Could I change it? We are a me a cure. Hallelujah. So when, when they are reading it, they read so fast that it's like they're reading a newspaper. You need the Holy Spirit to understand what you are reading because what you are reading to understand it's by inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And when Moses is born and when Pharaoh is now negotiating with the angel Gabriel about the birth of this one, the Bible removes the mother as Moses' mother and calls the mother a certain woman. Hallelujah. Just go down. Verse 5. Then the daughter of Pharaoh came down to bath at the river, and the maidens walked along the riverside. And when she saw that the ark among the reeds, she, she saw the ark among the reeds, she sent her maid to get it. And when she opened it, she saw the child, and behold, the baby wept. So she had compassion on him and said, This is one of the Hebrews' children. Then the sister said to Pharaoh's daughter, Shall I go and call a nest for you from the Hebrew woman, that she may nest the child for you? And Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Go. So the maiden went and called the child's mother. Listen to this one. The maiden went and called the child's mother. Hallelujah. The child's mother, Moses. We also told him one of our chengete. Hallelujah. Next verse. Then Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Take this child away and nurse him for me, mm. and I will give you your wages. Hallelujah. The child of God that I will change to Moses for me. Hallelujah. They have sentenced you to death. They said you will not recover again. Unos credits no chikisa iwe iwe. Asivan vese varukutoti iwe wa parara. I am coming with a new word. God is going to give you money this year in Jesus' mighty name. Your deaths will be cancelled in the mighty name of Jesus. Resurrection is coming to you. And your life will never be the same again in the mighty name of Jesus. So the woman took the child and nursed him. And the child grew and she brought him to Pharaoh's daughter and he became her son. Hallelujah. The woman, the woman, the woman. The issue about the sister is now gone. It's now the issue about the woman. But it's not mentioned that the sister was an angel from God. Hallelujah. There are many people that come into your life just to carry you to a next level. Wanapaka to say Okuna Mai Shaka Pashaita Shakanaka, Girozi, Yaka 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 Intercida, Yaka Payenda Shayo. Hallelujah. This one is a Hebrew child. How did she know who was the mother of this one that was floating on the river? Hallelujah. It was by inspiration because God understood that you and me. We must receive the Ten Commandments from Jesus Christ. If it was not for Moses, standing on the holy ground, receiving the Ten Commandments from God, your life would be nothing today. Hallelujah. It is because of Moses that we are where we are today through Jesus Christ, our personal Lord and Savior. I want to say this to you today. I want you to go back and tell those that were looking down on you that I met the man from Jesus Christ. 
and my life will never be the same again. When success comes to you, they will wonder what happened. Tell them, nobody comes and meets Jesus Christ and remains the same. You will receive wisdom today. You will receive wisdom today. And your life will never be the same again. All of you who are here today, I know you by name, says the Lord. Hallelujah. I know how many hairs you have in the head. I know the day that you were born, your phone number, your mother, your great-great-grandfather, and the altars that were built to fight you, I know all those. The spirits that are fighting you, I'm aware of them. But today, because you have come here to receive breakthrough, I am sending my angel to you in the mighty name of Jesus. He will stand and intercede on your behalf in the mighty name of Jesus. When the body of Moses, Jude chapter 1 verse 9, Jude is a verse before Revelation. It's one chapter just before the book of Revelation. Jude chapter 1 verse 9. Jude chapter 1 verse 9. It's the only chapter just before Revelation. It's not in the Old Testament. Jude chapter 1. Jude chapter 1. Verse 9. Jude chapter 1, verse 9. Yet Michael, heading of the story, old and new apostles. Verse 9. Yet Michael, the angel, the angel in contending with the devil, when he disputed about the body of Moses, did not to bring against him a reviling accusation, but said, The Lord rebuke you. Hallelujah. So you find out that when Moses died, there was contention about his body. Lucifer was saying, I want this body to go to hell. And God sent an angel to protect the body of, of Moses. So Moses was very special to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Because God always was protecting Moses, whether from the daughters of Pharaoh or also from Lucifer himself. There was a war between Michael and the devil about the body of Moses. If you meet God, you become holy like him. Hallelujah. Moses was the only prophet who was able to speak to God one-on-one, -on -one, face to face. And when, when Moses died, Lucifer wanted to take the body to hell. And God said, no, not my servant. Hallelujah. God is sending his angel Michael to contend for you in Jesus' mighty name. By the time you leave the deliverance center, it is 100% sure that it does not matter what spiritual husbands have been doing about your life, but I come to tell you a new word. When I speak about marriage, I'm speaking about financial breakthrough. Hallelujah. Finish. 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 You find out the birth of Moses, Exodus chapter 2. There was marriage between the father and the daughter from the tribe of Levi. The two, two came together. Hallelujah. Because of the heart of God. Children are gifts from God. Hallelujah. So marriage brings gifts into your life as well. May God be glorified today. Let it be so, and so shall it be. To those that are watching me from Guinea, Equatorial Guinea, the general overseer, Dr. Takabenga, will be coming to Guinea very, very soon. I think in the next 30 days, I will be in Guinea for a crusade according to the will of the Father in the mighty name of Jesus. So keep watching City Life Ministries and you will know the time and date when I'll be in Guinea. Prayer line in Guinea is coming very soon. God has spoken to me that I must come 
to Guinea. So I will be coming to Guinea in the next 30 days by the special grace of our Lord and Savior. Overseer Love More will be coordinating with the people in Guinea in the Republic of South Africa from tomorrow to find out the logistics and the tactics of how we'll get there. So our delegation will be in Guinea. Prayer line Demon Richie Roa, Swiper. My partners are in Guinea. She has a Kanaka Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah.